Hi everyone! Welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. This is a tutorial for a song from La La Land that Emma Stone sings at her audition. It's called Here's to the Fools Who Dream. It's really pretty and I had a great time putting together this piano version for you. I do have the sheet music for free on my website, thepianokeys.com. Go print it out if you think that it will help you learn it. If you like my videos, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can leave me a comment here or through social media. On Facebook, I'm at The Piano Key. On Instagram, The Piano Keys TPK. If you do have a request for a tutorial, you can leave it for me here or on the social media outlets. Please be patient. I have a very long list from all of you and I also have songs that I want to do. So if you need a tutorial right away, please schedule a Skype lesson. Keeping in mind that it takes about 20 hours for me to put a tutorial together, it is impossible to accommodate everybody's request immediately. If you are ready to learn, here's to the fools that dream. Keep watching. Left hand fifth finger starts on low G. Here's middle C, here's the G right below, and here's the low G where we'll be starting. So fifth finger on G, first finger on F, then fifth finger goes down to C, first finger on the C an octave above. Fifth finger on F, first finger on the same C you just played, fifth finger moves down one note to E, First finger still on C. Fifth finger moves down one note to D. First finger moves down to B flat. Fifth finger moves down to D flat. First finger still on B flat. Fifth finger on D. First finger on A. Fifth finger on C. Up to that octave C again. First finger. Fifth finger moves down to B flat, first finger up to D, and then back to the E, fifth finger, first finger on C. Right hand, second finger on B flat, which is below middle C. Here's middle C. We're starting on the black key just below it. Okay, so second finger on B flat, you're going to do that four times. And then third finger on C. Then there's a pretty big pause. Back to second finger on B flat. First finger on A. Third on D. Fourth on E. Fifth on F. Pick up. Second finger on A. First finger on G. Now you're going to play two notes at once. Second finger on B flat. Fourth finger on D. Pick up, you're going to play that B flat again, underneath it add G, first finger, E, fifth finger. Practice that much before you go on. Now from here, second finger on A, pick up, you repeat that A, add an F underneath it with your first finger, C above it with fourth finger. Pick up, repeat that C. Pick up, third finger on A. Now, E, G, C, one, two, four, and fifth finger on D. Pick up, third finger on A. Now, three notes coming up. D, first finger, F, second finger, B flat, fourth finger. Repeat that B flat by itself, and again. You'll play that B flat again, this time adding a G second finger and an E first finger below it. And then fifth finger on C. Okay, practice that much before you go on. Make sure you can play that. From here, we do fourth finger on B flat. Then D first finger, F second finger, and A third finger. Fifth finger on D, fourth finger on E, so you'll have to pick up there. 
Now pick up, you're going to play the E again, underneath it add second finger on C, first finger on A, fifth finger on F, pick up, second finger on A, first finger on G, second finger on B flat, pick up, G and C, first finger and second finger, third finger on D, fourth finger on E. So the fingering that I'm showing you here is just um, what I played on the performance video and I went back and just wrote down those fingerings. It wasn't anything that I necessarily planned ahead of time. So if this fingering doesn't work for you, then feel free to change it, okay? It's just what I did. Um, it seemed to work for me since I was able to play it. Right hand starts by itself. And it's quite free. Uh, you can do it however you're feeling it. Now, when you play the G, that's when the left hand comes in. So if both hands are playing Gs, that's how you can remember. Left hand, right. Pick up and play together, then left. Pick up the right hand, play it. Pick up left hand and, and right hand both. Play together, right, left. Pick up your right hand and play it. Pick up both hands, together. play together, then together again, pick up, together, right, left. Practice that much before you go on. This is going to be a really long video, so I'm not going to go back and practice with you. Um, pick up, right hand plays, together, together. Together, together, right, together, left, right, together, then right. So I'll play that much really slowly, but I won't say anything. super slow so you can follow and play along if you want to see the regular uh, speed obviously you can watch the performance video because that one is performance speed so we left the left hand off uh, C first finger pick up put your fifth finger on G first on F fifth down to C then play the octave above Fifth finger on D, now second finger on A, swivel, reach your thumb up to F, pick up, fifth on G, second on D, first finger on that same F you just played, pick up and move down to that C, fifth finger, first finger on G, fifth finger on F, Second on C, hold on to it, kind of swivel and reach out, 
first finger on A. Practice this much before you go further. Then down to G, fifth finger, second on D, first on F. We've already done this one. Pick up, move down, fifth finger to C, second on G. Again, hold on and kind of pivot on that note. First finger on E, pick up, fifth on D, second on A, first on F. Pick up, you're going to do that G, D, F again that we've done a couple of times. G, D, F. Pick up and move down, fifth finger to C, second on G, first on C, and then D, fifth finger, second finger on A, first on D. Okay, so remember that I have the time codes in the information box, so you can uh, click on each of the sections, um, like the left hand and the right hand and hands together and all that. So you want to make sure that you practice small sections before you put it all together. Right hand, the last thing we played was E with the fourth finger. So now reach down, first finger on G, second finger on B flat, third finger on D, pick up, fifth finger to B flat, pick up again. Come back to that G and B flat that you just played, one and two, add an E above it with your fifth finger. Pick up, put your third finger on middle C, pick up, E, F, A, fingers two, three, and five. And then see where your thumb is, right above the D, we're going to play it by itself. Okay, practice that much before you go on. Then. Back to that G and B flat, one and two. Third finger on D again. Up to that B flat with your fifth finger. We've done this before. Down again to G B flat E, one, two, five. This is also repeat. Third finger on C. And then back to the E, F, A, two, three, five. So we're basically repeating what we played previously. And then D. First finger. Down again to that G and B flat, one and two. Do you see how much we're repeating? So it's really not that hard. <laughs> not yet, anyway. It will get harder later. So, G and B flat, one and two. Third finger on D. This is the third time we've done something like this. Fifth finger on B flat. Back down again to your G, B flat, and E. One, two, and five. Third finger on C. And then back to the E, F, A, two, three, and five. And then first finger on D. Here's where we do something a little different. Hold on to the D and bring your third finger over to D flat. Then second finger on C. And then we go back to what we already know, G and B flat, one and two. D, B flat, G, B flat, E. Back to our C. And here's something new, F, A, and D, one, two, and five. Hands play together, then the right hand by itself. Both hands pick up and move, play together, then left, then right. Pick up, play them together, left, together. Pick up, together, right. Together, 
left. Okay, so that's a lot to take in. You'll need to stop wherever you need to. I have no idea what part um, you'll need to practice. So just you know, hit the pause button, go back, repeat, so that it becomes easy for you. I'm going to play that much very slowly without saying anything. Left hand uh, was on D for singer, pick up, fifth finger on C, third on E, second on G, first on B flat, pick up, go down, fifth finger on F, second on C, first finger on F, pick up, fifth on E, first on C, pick up, fifth on D, Second on B flat, first on F. So do you notice that I'm actually holding on to the keys before I play the next one? It's actually easier to do that than to hop around. So take that extra moment to really hang on to the key. Now you don't want to press down on it, just stay there. It's like sitting on the key. So as you're sitting now on your chair, you're not pressing down, you're just hanging out, right? So that's what you want your finger to do. Hang out on that key, reach over, and then let it go when you've played the new key. A lot easier to play this way than, than to let go. Okay? So from here, down fifth finger on D flat, first on B flat. Stop any time that you need to go back and practice. Moving on, fifth finger on D, second on A, first finger on F. Fifth on C, and then the next two notes will be the same as that you, the same ones that you just played. A, F, same fingering. Fifth finger on B flat. First on G, pick up, and put your first finger on F. Pick up, move down, fifth finger to C. Second on G, pick up, and go up an octave, first finger on G. From here, we repeat uh, almost exactly what we played uh, until here. So, F, C, F, E, C, D, B flat, F. Now here, it starts similarly, but it changes. Fifth finger on D flat, second on B flat, first on F. Fifth on D, second on A, reach up to F. Okay, fifth finger on C. This is similar to what we did. So play those same two notes again A, F, and then down to B flat. Second finger on F, first finger on D, then fifth finger on C, second on G. Hold your hand over, fourth finger on D, third on E, first on G. Right hand was on F, A, and D. Pick up and move first finger to middle C. And now we're going to play um, a scale that's going to go from one C to the next higher C. It's going to be all white keys except for this one, the B flat, and the fingering. One, two, three. Your thumb goes under. One, two, 
three, so four fingers on that B flat, the black key, and then fifth finger on C. You repeat that C with your fourth finger, play it again, second finger on A, pick up, A, G, C, one, two, four, fifth finger on D. Pick up, first finger on D, second on F, fourth finger on B flat, Repeat that B flat two more times. Now play the B flat and add an E underneath it with your first finger. And then fifth finger on C. Lift. Back to that B flat fourth finger. One and two, F and A. So again, this is just the fingering I happen to play on the video. If you want to use a different fingering, that's fine. So F and A, one, two. Third on D. Fourth on E, pick up, A, D, F, one, three, five, pick up, play that A again, add a C above it with your fourth finger, then B flat and D, three and five, pick up, fifth finger on F, one and three, C, E, D and F, C word two and four, and then E and G, three and five. Reach your thumb down to A. Pick up. F, A, C, one, two, four. Play that top note by itself. Second finger on A. First finger on G, third finger on C. Fourth on D. Pick up. Second on A. Third finger on B flat. Repeat that B flat with your first finger. Play that B flat again, this time adding an octave above it. Play that again. Take your thumb up to C. Fifth finger moves down to A. Fourth on G. Then octave B flat again. Take that octave down to A. Up to D, E, repeat the E, up to F, and then down to A. So we have a bunch of octaves in a row. Pick up. You'll play now the octave G. You'll add a couple of notes in between. So first finger on G, second on B flat, third on D, fifth on G, together. If that's too tough to play, then just play B flat, D, G. That's fine, okay? If you can manage it, this sounds good because this is kind of like a dramatic portion of the song and the more notes you have, uh, the more it helps to be dramatic. But if you can't reach it, you can't reach it. So just do that, okay? I'm gonna play it this way. Pick up your hand, first finger on B flat, third on D, fifth on F, and then, do you remember this we did? C and E, D and F, E and G, okay? You just do that again. So, one on C, three uh, on E, two on D, four on F, three on E, five on G. Left hand starts and then the right hand continues. C, E, G, B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. Okay, let me show you that again. So the first two notes are a little bit slower, then everything's faster. While the right hand's playing, left hand has to move down, and then when you play that C, that's when the left hand comes in together. Right, together, left. Together, right, left, pick up. Together, together, right, left, right. Together, pick up, together, left, right hand picks up. Left hand pick up and move, left, lift the right hand and then play it by itself, left hand moves down, 
together. Left, right, left, right. Pick up, together. Left, right, together. and play together, right, together, together, right, pick up both, play together, these are all going to be playing together. Together, left, together, left, together, left. I'll play all that really slowly. Left hand was on G, first finger. Pick up and move your fifth finger down to G. Second on D. First on F. Third on B flat. So we're folding the hand over again. Then unfold the hand. Second finger on D. First on F. Pick up and move all the way down to low C. Second on G. First on C. finger down to D, second on A, from first on D, fold over, second on F, unfold, first finger on A, second on F again, pick up, A, first finger, second on F, thumb goes under, find D, unfold, second on A, on F. Pick up. Fifth finger on G. Third on B flat. First on F. Fold over. Third finger on B flat. First on D. Pick up and go all the way down to low C again. Fifth finger. Second on G. First on C. Fold. Second finger comes to E. Pick that thumb out. First finger on G, fourth on C. Pick up. Fifth finger on F, third on A, first on C. Pick up, play that C again with your fifth finger. Third finger on F, second on A, first on C, second on A, third on F. Thumb goes under to C. on G, third finger on B flat, first finger on F, we've done this one before, third finger on B flat, first finger 
first on D. Pick up, fifth finger on low C, second on G, first on C, fourth finger goes over to E, second on G, first finger on B flat. Fifth finger goes down to D, second on A, first on D, fourth finger comes over, first finger on D, second on A, take that first finger down to D flat, second on A, third on F, fifth on D, first finger on A, second on F, pick up, fifth finger on G, third on B flat, first on F, fold over, B flat, third finger, first on D, pick up and go down, we've done this one before, fifth on C, second on G, first on C, fourth on E, second on G, first on B flat, and then to finish it off, fifth finger on F, and then up an octave, F. that's a lot to do. As you can see, the left hand is getting quite a workout here, and that's good. Um, so you'll really learn how to use your left hand if, if you're not so strong on it. You'll need to spend some time, okay? But it's worth it. It's really cool. We left right hand up here on E and G. We're going to move down. First finger on D, second on F, fourth finger on B flat. Pick up, fifth finger on D. And now you'll play an octave B flat, one and five. Come down, first finger on G, second on B flat, fifth on E, third finger on C. Pick up, first on A, second on E, third on F, fifth on A. If this is too hard for you to reach, just play the top three notes like that. Okay? Then pick up, move down, and play just the D by itself with your thumb. From here, we're repeating what we just played, D, F, and B flat, fifth finger on D. Now up here where we did an octave, I don't know why this time I threw in also a D. <laughs> you can play that if you want, so B flat, D, B flat, or you can just play the octave again, it's up to you. And then back down to the G, B flat, and E that we've already done, C, and then that A, E, F, and A. Again, if you can't reach it, just play the top three notes. Back down, we're going to repeat that again. D, F, B flat, D. And then uh, B flat, D, uh, B flat. And then down, G, B flat, E, just as before. C, and then A, E, F, A. You see how much we're repeating the same thing over and over, so it's really not as long as it seems. Repeat it again, D, F, B flat, D. This time I'm doing the octave B flat, and then down to E, G, B flat, E, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, five. And then third finger to C, octave F, a and C, second and third finger. Hands play together. Left, right hand lifts together. Left, lift the right hand together. Lift both together. Left. together. Now left. Right hand moves together. Move. Play together. Now left. Together. Then left. Pick up. Play together. Now right hand's going to hold while the left hand 
again does a little bit of showing off. to low C and first finger to the C an octave above you're going to do a back and forth motion between those two notes now be careful that you don't tighten up your hand you just kind of it's really from from the wrist it's not the finger uh, it's not the fingers that are doing the work okay so practice that it doesn't have to go fast at all Okay, we're going to do that for a while, and then pick up your hand, move your fifth finger to D, first, an octave above, and then pick up, second finger on F, first finger on A, pick up and move all the way down to it. fifth finger on A, second on E, first on A, fold your hand over, fourth finger to C sharp, second on E, first on A. Now this next part that happens, this thing, okay, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what exactly it is that I'm playing here because I don't even know what I'm playing. <laughs> uh, I think I've narrowed it down, but I'm going to show it to you hands together in this particular section. So slowly, um, left hand goes all the way down to low B flat fifth finger. Second finger on F, first finger on B flat. Then the right hand takes over. First finger on D, second on F, third on B flat, and then fifth on D. Okay, practice. 
practice that and then move on. Left hand goes up an octave from where it started and plays the same thing that it played down here. B flat, F, B flat. Right hand goes up an octave and plays a very similar thing. So D, F, B flat, D, and then walk it back down. B flat, F, D. Let's do this much. second finger, first finger on D, left hand, second finger on F, right hand moves fifth finger to F, third finger on D, second finger on B flat, and then fifth finger to D, third finger on B flat, second finger F, first finger D, we're almost done, and then left hand B flat, first finger, and then F, second finger. So, the whole, the whole thing looks like this uh, when done in slow motion. for you down here is fine. If we take it a little faster, it looks like this. And then after that, the left hand picks up and moves fifth finger to D. Second on A. And then first finger on F. Pick up. Fifth finger on A, second on E, first on A, fold over, we've already done this in the beginning of this section, fourth finger on C sharp, second on E, first on A, and then you do that, that run again. So whatever you did before, do that, okay, so you'll end up fourth, uh, second finger on F, and then pick up. Fifth finger on G, second on D, pick up, first finger on B flat. Move down, fifth finger to C, second on G, first on E, pick up, fifth finger on F, second on C, first on F, pick up, first finger on middle C, second finger on B flat, and then thumb comes under to A, okay, pick up, fifth finger moves to G, second on D, first finger on B flat, and then left hand up, fifth finger moves to the low C, second finger on G, first finger on E, and last thing, fifth finger on F, second on C, First on F, fourth finger on A, second on C, first on F. Obviously you'll have to stop this section in parts and practice it. Right hand was on A and C. You're going to stay in the general area that you are in now. First finger on E, second on G, fourth on C, and fifth on E. Again, if you can't reach these bigger uh, chords, then just leave out the bottom note. Then, pick up and move. First finger on F, second on B flat, third on D, fifth on F. You're going to use the same fingers. Move up to G, C, E, and G. Pick up, F and A, one and two. Then put your fifth finger on F and play three times. 
bass C sharp, one and two, third finger on D, fourth on E, play that chord, F, B flat, D, F that you played earlier, and then this is where the back one comes in, which we've played several times now, and then fourth finger on E, A, D, and F, one, three, and five, repeat the top note by itself, and then play the whole chord again. A and C sharp, one and two. We've done this already. Third finger on D, fourth finger on E. Back to your chord, F, B flat, D, F. And that. From here, G, B flat, D, G, one, two, three, and five. Play it again. Use the same fingers, move down one note. F, B flat, D, F. So you can see the B flat and the D stay the same. The only thing that moves is the outside notes. Then octave E, octave D. Play that octave D again. Add F and A um, in the middle of them, second and third finger. And then octave C. Pick up. First finger on B flat, second on D, third on F. 5th on B flat, repeat that, then A, then G, play that octave G again, add C and E in the middle, 2nd and 3rd fingers, so G, C, E, G, 1, 2, 3, 5, and then octave A. Hands play together, the right hand holds down while the left hand fiddles back and forth like that. When you add the pedal, it sounds cool. It sounds kind of like an orchestra building up um, its excitement or you know energy. So left hand keeps doing the tremolo, right hand picks up and moves. Play together, left, right, together, right. Pick up and move, together, left, together, left, together, left. Now, this happens, it starts together, then you do the arpeggio. Fourth finger on E in the right hand. Now together. Right hand, left, together. Together, left, together, left, together, left. Just like we did it the first time that we played this in a section. And then the run again. So left hand was up here on F, pick it up, move fifth finger down to A, second on E, first on A, pick up, fifth finger on G sharp, second on E, first finger on G sharp. So you're going to notice that the bottom note and the top note are the same, okay? Fifth finger on F sharp, second on D, first finger on F sharp. 5th on F, 2nd on D, 1st finger on F, 5th finger on E, 2nd finger on C sharp, 1st finger on E, pick up, 5th 
fifth finger on D sharp, second on A, first finger on C sharp. Here's where the bottom note and the top note are not the same. Okay, but now they are going to be fifth finger on D, second on A, first finger on D. Pick up, fifth finger on E, fourth on F. Fifth finger on F sharp, second on C sharp, first on F sharp. Pick up, move down, fifth finger on B. Second on F sharp, first on B, pick up, fifth finger on C sharp, third finger on G sharp, and then first finger on E, second finger on C sharp. Remember to stop and go back, review as much as you need to. F sharp, fifth finger, second finger on C sharp, first finger on F sharp. Down, fifth finger on B, second finger on F sharp, first finger on B. Pick up, fifth on E, second on B, first on E. Repeat that E, same finger, go back to the B you just played. Now, third finger on G sharp, fifth finger on F sharp. Second on C sharp, you've already done this. First on F sharp, pick up. B, F sharp, B, this is a repeat. Okay, C sharp, G sharp, E, second finger on C sharp. This is all repeat. F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. repetitions of what we've already done. Right hand was on the octave A's. Pick up. Now we're going to do a little run with that right hand. And you're, you're going to play C, fifth finger, B flat, fourth finger, A, third finger, G, second finger, F, first finger, then bring your third finger over to E, and then finish it off with the first finger. C sharp, fourth finger on E. Repeat the E by itself. And play the E again with third finger. Play the E and add a B underneath it with your thumb. Fourth finger on F sharp. Go back to the E. Now A and D, one and two. Play the D with the third finger. Repeat it. Play it again and add an A underneath it with your thumb. Fourth finger on E. Pick up that fourth finger, move it down one note to D. Now A and C sharp, one and two. Third finger on F sharp. Fourth finger on G sharp. Pick up. Play that G sharp again, add a C sharp underneath it with your thumb. And then fifth finger on A. Pick up. Fourth finger on C sharp. First finger on F sharp, third finger on B. Play the F sharp by itself. Second finger on A, back to the F sharp. Second finger on G sharp. Pick up, play that G sharp again, and underneath it add an F with your first finger and a C sharp uh, with your fifth finger. So, F, G sharp, C sharp, one, two, five. Then fourth finger on B, pick up, first finger moves to A, second finger C sharp, pick up, fifth finger to A, pick up again, first finger F sharp, second, uh, third finger B, fifth finger D sharp, okay, pick up, play that B again, this time with your second finger, pick up again, third finger D sharp, fifth finger G sharp, 
Second finger to C sharp. First finger back to the G sharp. Then you're going to do that again. First finger on A, second on C sharp, fifth on A, pick up, F sharp, B, D sharp. Again, the B with the second finger. Now, something a little bit different. First finger on G sharp, second finger stays on the B, third finger on E, and then fifth finger on G sharp. If this is too far for you to reach, then just play this, B, E, and G sharp, okay? So from here, play the bottom note by itself, G sharp, first finger, then the second note by itself, B, back to the first note. Fifth finger goes to E, B, second finger, and then G sharp again, first finger. Then we're going to repeat that A, C sharp, A. Back down to F, sh F sharp, B, and D sharp. This is all repetition. Second finger on B. Back to your D sharp and G sharp. Three and five. C sharp. Down to the G sharp. And then repeat that again. A, C sharp, A. Then back down to the F sharp, B, D sharp. And then repeat that B with your second finger. And then we go up to E, fifth finger. Pick up, first finger on G sharp, second on B, fourth on D, and then fifth on E. So you can see this uh, melody repeats a lot, and um, the only thing that really changes is the rhythm. Right hand starts by itself. Now hands together. Hold the left 
Okay, this is it. This is the last section. So, left hand was on E. You're going to play A with your fifth finger, and then back E with your first finger. Okay, and then for a while you don't do anything. Then you're going to play that uh, run that goes... I'm going to show you that hands together. This one's, uh, I think, a little bit easier than the first one that we did. We start with fifth finger on F sharp, left hand, second finger on C sharp, first finger on F sharp. Then the right hand takes over, first finger on A sharp, second finger on C sharp, third finger on F sharp, fifth finger on A sharp. Left hand flies over the right hand, fourth finger to C sharp, second finger on F, first finger on F sharp, and then back to that F, second finger, the fourth finger on C sharp. So you're just retracing your steps. And then the right hand plays A sharp, fifth finger, F sharp, third finger, second finger on F, and then first finger on C sharp. So all together it looks like this. Again, it's slightly different the second time. Starts the same way though. F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Then the right hand does its thing. A sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp. This time when the left hand comes over, use fifth finger for the C sharp because we're going to play more notes. We need more fingers. So fifth finger on C sharp, third on F, second on F sharp, first finger on A sharp, and then come back and retrace your steps. F sharp, F, C sharp, and then right hand plays what it did before. A sharp, fifth finger, F sharp, third finger, F, second finger, and then C sharp, first, first finger. Okay? Then, left hand plays D and A, five and one, and again it's a little bit staggered, and that's all for the left hand. Right hand left off, the fifth finger on E. I'm going to play that E again with your third finger. And then first finger moves down to A. Third on C sharp. Pick up. Play the E again with your third finger three times. And then F sharp fourth finger. Pick up that fourth finger, move it to E. And then C sharp third finger. And then this is where that uh, arpeggio happens, which I've already showed you. Then pick up, first finger on A, second on C sharp, fourth on E. You're going to roll it up. So you stagger the notes. They don't happen all at once, like that. Repeat the top note, the E, three times. Fifth finger on F sharp. C sharp, second finger, and then we do the run again. This time slightly differently. Okay. Pick up, first finger on D, second on F sharp, fourth on A, roll it up. Repeat the top note two times. Then fifth finger on B. Play the A again with your fourth finger. You're going to roll up D, F, A, one, two, four. Pick up. Play that top note twice. Then fifth finger on B. And we end it playing two A's with our fourth finger. Right hand starts by itself. Then left.
straight to the top, staggering the notes. Left hand holds, right hand plays. And then we have that arpeggio again. Pick up. Again, we're going to stagger the notes from the bottom to the top. Right hand. Left hand picks up and it's done. So right hand continues by itself. Okay, I'll play it from the beginning of part seven slowly. That was Here's to the Fools That Dream that Emma Stone sings. I hope you liked it. Take your time, practice slowly, be patient with yourself, and have fun. I'll see you soon. Bye. For this one, the B flat and the fingering. One, two, three. Your thumb goes under. One, two, three. So four fingers on that B flat, the black key, and then fifth finger on C. You repeat that C with your fourth finger, play it again, second finger on A, pick up, A, G, C, one, two, four, fifth finger on D, pick up, first finger on D, second on F, fourth finger on B flat, repeat that B flat two more times. Now play the B flat and add an E underneath it with your first finger and then fifth finger on C. Lift, back to that B flat fourth finger, one and two, F and A. So again, this is just the fingering I happen to play on the video. If you want to use a different fingering, that's fine. So F and A, one, two, third on D, fourth on E, pick up. A, D, F, one, three, five. Pick up, play that A again, add a C above it with your fourth finger. Then B flat and D, three and five. Pick up, fifth finger on F, one and three, C, E, D and F, C word two and four, and then E and G, three and five. Reach your thumb down to A, pick up, F, A, C, one, two, four, play that top note by itself, second finger on A, first finger on G, third finger on C, fourth on D, pick up, second on A, third finger on B flat, Repeat that B flat with your first finger. Play that B flat again, this time adding an octave above it. Play that again. Take your thumb up to C. Fifth finger moves down to A. Fourth on G. Then octave B flat again. Take that octave down to A. Up to D. E, repeat the E, up to F, and then down to A. So we have a bunch of octaves in a row. Pick up. You'll play now the octave G. You'll add a couple of notes in between. So first finger on G, second on B flat, third on D, fifth on G, together. 
If that's too tough to play, then just play B flat D G. That's fine, okay? If you can manage it, this sounds good because this is kind of like a dramatic portion of the song and the more notes you have, uh, the more it helps to be dramatic. But if you can't reach it, you can't reach it. So just do that, okay? I'm going to play it this way. Pick up your hand, first finger on B flat, third on D, fifth on F, and then, do you remember this we did? C and E, D and F, E and G, okay? You just do that again. So, one on C, three uh, on E, two on D, four on F, three on E, five on G. Left hand starts and then the right hand continues. C, E, G, B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. Okay, let me show you that again. So the first two notes are a little bit slower, then everything's faster. While the right hand's playing, left hand has to move down. And then when you play that C, that's when the left hand comes in together. Right, together, left, right. Pick up, together, right, left, pick up. Together, together, right, left, right, together, finger on A. Practice this much before you go further. Then down to G, fifth finger, second on D, first on F. We've already done this one. Pick up, move down fifth finger to C, second on G. Again, hold on and kind of pivot on that note. First finger on E, pick up, fifth on D, Second on A, first on F. Pick up, you're going to do that G, D, F again that we've done a couple of times. G, D, F. Pick up and move down, fifth finger to C. Second on G, first on C. And then D, fifth finger, second finger on A. Remember that I have the time codes in the information box, so you can uh, click on each of the sections, um, like the left hand and the right hand and hands together and all that. So you want to make sure that you practice small sections before you put it all together. Right hand, the last thing we played was E with the fourth finger. So now reach down, first finger on G, second finger on B flat. Third finger on D, pick up, fifth finger to B flat, pick up again, come back to that G and B flat that you just played, one and two, add an E above it with your fifth finger. Pick up, put your third finger on middle C, pick up, E, F, A, fingers two, three, and five. And then see where your thumb is, right above the D, we're going to play it by itself. Okay, practice that much before you go on. Then, back to that G and B flat, one and two. Third finger on D again. Up to that B flat with your fifth finger, we've done this before. Down again to G, B flat, E, one, two, five, this is also repeat. Third finger on C. And then back to the E, F, A, 2, 3, 5. So we're basically repeating what we played previously. And then D, first finger. Down again to that G and B flat, 1 and 2. Do you see how much we're repeating? So it's really not that hard. <laughs> not yet, anyway. It will get harder later. So G and B flat, 1 and 2. Third finger on D. This is the third time we've done something like this. Fifth finger on B flat. Back down again to your G, B flat, and E, one, two, and five. Third finger on C. 
and then back to the E, F, A, two, three, and five. And then first finger on D. Here's where we do something a little different. Hold on to the D and bring your third finger over to D flat. Then second finger on C. And then we go back to what we already know, G and B flat, one and two. D, B flat, G, B flat, E. Back to our C. And here's something new, F, A, and D, one, two, and five. Hands play together, then the right hand by itself. Both hands pick up and move, play together, then left, then right, pick up, play them together, left, together, pick up, together, right, left. Together, together, left, right, together, left, together, pick up, together, left, together, right, pick up, together, That's a lot to take in. You'll need to stop wherever you need to. I have no idea what part um, you'll need to practice. So just you know, hit the pause button, go back, repeat, so that it becomes easy for you. I'm going to play that much very slowly without saying anything. Left hand uh, was on D, first finger, pick up, fifth finger on C, third on E, second on G, first on B flat, pick up, go down, fifth finger on F, second on C, first finger on F, pick up, fifth on E, first on C, pick up, fifth on D, Second on B flat, first on F. So do you notice that I'm actually holding on to the keys before I play the next one? It's actually easier to do that than to hop around. So take that extra moment to really hang on to the key. Now you don't want to press down on it, just stay there. It's like sitting on the key. So as you're sitting now on your chair, you're not pressing down, you're just hanging out, right? So that's what you want your finger to do. Hang out on that key, reach over, and then let it go when you've played the new key. A lot easier to play this way than, than to let go, okay? So from here, down fifth finger on D flat, first on B flat. Stop any time that you need to go back and practice. Moving on, fifth finger on D, second on A, first finger on F. Fifth on C, and then the 
next two notes will be the same as that you, the same ones that you just played. A, F, same fingering. Fifth finger on B flat. First on G, pick up, and put your first finger on F. Pick up, move down, fifth finger to C. Second on G, pick up, and go up an octave, first finger on G. From here, we repeat uh, almost exactly what we played uh, until here. So, F, C, F, E, C, D, B flat, F. Now here, it starts similarly, but it changes. Fifth finger on D flat, second on B flat, first on F. Fifth on D, second on A, reach up to F. Okay, fifth finger on C. This is similar to what we did. So play the same two notes again A, F, and then down to B flat. Second finger on F, first finger on D, then fifth finger on C, second on G. over, fourth finger on D, third on E, first on G. Right hand was on F, A, and D. Pick up and move first finger to middle C. And now we're going to play um, a scale that's going to go from one C to the next higher C. It's going to be all white keys except... Hi everyone! Welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. This is a tutorial for a song from La La Land that Emma Stone sings at her audition. It's called Here's to the Fools Who Dream. It's really pretty and I had a great time putting together this piano version for you. I do have the sheet music for free on my website, thepianokeys.com. Go print it out if you think that it will help you learn it. If you like my videos, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can leave me a comment here or through social media. On Facebook, I'm at The Piano Key. On Instagram, The Piano Keys TPK. If you do have a request for a tutorial, you can leave it for me here or on the social media outlets. Please be patient. I have a very long list from all of you and I also have songs that I want to do. So if you need a tutorial right away, please schedule a Skype lesson. Keeping in mind that it takes about 20 hours for me to put a tutorial together, it is impossible to accommodate everybody's request immediately. If you are ready to learn, here's to the fools that dream. Keep watching. Left hand fifth finger starts on low G. Here's middle C, here's the G right below, and here's the low G where we'll be starting. So fifth finger on G, first finger on F, then fifth finger goes down to C, first finger on the C an octave above. Fifth finger on F, first finger on the same C you just played, fifth finger moves down one note to E, first finger still on C, fifth finger moves down one note to D, First finger moves down to B flat, fifth finger moves down to D flat, first finger still on B flat, fifth finger on D, first finger on A, fifth finger on C, up to that octave C again, first finger, fifth finger moves down to B flat, first finger up to D, and then back to the E, fifth finger, first finger on C. Right hand, second finger on B flat, which is below middle C. Here's middle C. We're starting on the black key just below it. Okay, so second finger on B flat, you're going to do that four times. And then third finger on C. Then there's a pretty big pause. Back to 2nd finger on B flat, 1st finger on A, 3rd on D, 4th on E, 5th on F. Pick up, 
Dedicada, second finger on A, first finger on G. Now you're going to play two notes at once, second finger on B flat, fourth finger on D. Pick up, you're going to play that B flat again, underneath it add G, first finger, E, fifth finger. Practice that much before you go on. Now from here, second finger on A, pick up, you repeat that A, add an F underneath it with your first finger, C above it with fourth finger. Pick up, repeat that C. Pick up, third finger on A. Now E, G, C, one, two, four, and fifth finger on D. Third finger on A. Now three notes coming up. D, first finger, F, second finger, B flat, fourth finger. Repeat that B flat by itself. And again. You'll play that B flat again, this time adding a G, second finger, and an E, first finger below it. And then fifth finger on C. Okay, practice that much before you go on. Make sure you can play that. From here, we do fourth finger on B flat. Then D, first finger, F, second finger, and A, third finger. Fifth finger on D. Fourth finger on E. So you'll have to pick up there. Now pick up, you're going to play the E again, underneath it add 2nd finger on C, 1st finger on A, 5th finger on F, pick up, 2nd finger on A, 1st finger on G, 2nd finger on B flat, pick up, G and C, 1st finger and 2nd finger, 3rd finger on D, so the fingering that I'm showing you here is just um, what I played on the performance video and I went back and just wrote down those fingerings. It wasn't anything that I necessarily planned ahead of time. So if this fingering doesn't work for you, then feel free to change it, okay? It's just what I did. Um, it seemed to work for me since I was able to play it. Right hand starts by itself. And it's quite free. Uh, you can do it however you're feeling it. Now, when you play the G, that's when the left hand comes in. So if both hands are playing G's, that's how you can remember. Left hand, right, then pick up and play together, then left. Play together, right, left. Pick up your right hand and play it. Pick up both hands, together, right, left. Pick up right hand. Left hand picks up and then both hands play together. Then together again, pick up, together. that much before you go on. This is going to be a really long video so I'm not going to go back and practice with you. Um, pick up, right hand plays, together, together, right, pick up both, together, together, really slowly but I won't say anything.
So that's super slow, so you can follow and play along. If you want to see the regular uh, speed, obviously you can watch the performance video, because that one is performance speed. So we left the left hand off, um, C, first finger, pick up, put your fifth finger on G, first on F, fifth down to C, then play the octave above with your first finger. Fifth finger on D, now second finger on A, swivel, reach your thumb up to F, pick up, fifth on G, second on D, first finger on that same F you just played, pick up and move down to that C, fifth finger, first finger on G, fifth finger on F, Second on C, hold on to it, kind of swivel and reach out. 